let him have his party here at the go-kart track. Well, it's better than last year when he had his party at the same time as his little sisters. Teddy bear theme in the front yard, pirate theme in the backyard. Hey, I thought his sister's pirate party was a blast. <laughs> I think I'm going to sit it out for a while. My stomach is up in my throat after that last ride. Uh, I didn't see you out on the go-kart track. Well, I wasn't. I was over in the rocket ship by the ball pit. <laughs> they should put a safety warning on that thing. Guys, you got to check this out. The driver in the blue cart is tearing up the track. Oh, it looks like he might break the course record. You know, I could have broke the course record if Jerry wasn't driving the wrong way and crashed me in the wall. Okay, I was going the wrong way because I dropped my corn dog at the start line and my family lives by a code. Ningún perro de maíz se queda atrás. What's that mean? No corn dog left behind. <laughs> oh, he's on his last lap. It's going to be close. Three minutes and 21 seconds. That's a new track record, folks. Oh, that was awesome. That was amazing. That was Kim? <laughs> Jim, you can really drive. Were you trying to break the course record? No, I just really gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Yo, check it out. There's my corn dog. No, Jerry, no, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> shirt. I got it from Carol Miller for my birthday. <laughs> you know, a girl doesn't give a boy a turtleneck unless she's trying to say something. Maybe she's trying to say you have an ugly neck. <gasps> hey, did you guys see what's in Phil's window? Oh, are you talking about the cockroaches trying to claw their way to freedom? <laughs> no, this flyer. Oh, the June International 500 go-kart race is being held here at the Seaford Racetrack. Kim, you gotta do this. Guys, you know how much money that would take? I mean, the go-kart, the pit crew, highlights for my hair. <laughs> what? When I win, I'm gonna look good doing it. Guys, all we need is a sponsor. Yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. Oh, we'll just wait for some crazy man with a lot of money to come rolling in here. <laughs> I'll have a number seven platter. Oh, and can you make change for this giant sapphire? <laughs> no, you know what? Just keep it. Milton, you finally covered up that ugly turkey neck of yours. Bobby, how would you like to sponsor a go-kart team? Absolutely not. We'll paint your face on the cart. I'm in. Daddy loves his face. <laughs> Hey, Rudy. I just came by to have you sign a petition I'm starting to name you the world's sexiest sensei. Uh, I'd have to be pretty full myself to sign my own petition. Do you have a pen? <laughs> Wait, this is from your school. You didn't finish your community service? And now, thanks to your signature, I won't have to. Jerry, volunteering is very important. Everyone should do it. Let me ask you, when was the last time you did something for your fellow man? I mean, just today I was at Clown Burger and some lady walked away and left her cheeseburger on the counter. That's great. So you ran after her and you gave it back? Oh, no. I ate it immediately knowing she wouldn't want it to go to waste. <laughs> uh, Jerry, volunteering can be very rewarding. What was it that you were supposed to do? Supposed to bring meals and help out some old man? Well, not only are you going to do it, but I'm going to go with you. Well, Rudy, hey, you have a huge heart, huh? I love helping people. <phone rings> oh, sorry. Hello, Mother. Ooh, that sounds painful. No, no, no I can't. No, I, I can't. Just, just pack it in ice and drive yourself to the hospital. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Let's go help some people. <laughs> oh, hi. Kim, check it out. When you sign up for the big race tomorrow, you get one of these cool pens. It's a vroom vroom pen. <laughs> Look, Jack, I don't care about some cheesy pen. What I care about is you coming down here to support me. I mean, it really shows how important I am to you. You just want me to shut up so you can play with your pen, don't you? So badly. Hi. I'm Luke Marco, chairman of the Racing Association. 
You're going to sign up for a race, huh? Uh, actually, uh, I'm going to be the one racing, hence the highlights. You can't race in this division. You're a girl. Tell her, Dad. That's right. You're a girl. <laughs> Which means you have to race in the girls' division, hun. But my time is better than almost everyone in the boys' division, hun. You could put on one of those cute little outfits and wave the checkered flag when I win. You look really good, but that's not the point. She has every right to race with the guys. Not gonna happen. You know, you may have taken away my ability to race, but you will never take away my vroom vroom pen. Those pens are for racers only. Fine. Hi. <laughs> One room, room pan for the little lady? Thank you. The smart man. Hello, Harvey. I'm Rudy, and this is Jerry, and we're your volunteers. I'm not deaf. <laughs> and you're late. This turkey sandwich is supposed to come with chips. Uh, it's the boy's fault. <laughs> Rudy, you ate those chips. Respect your elders, Jerry. Am I right, Arv? Yeah, right, right. Let's just get to your chores. One of you has to help me with my pottery. The other one has to plunge the toilet. Yeah, pottery, pottery, pottery. <laughs> you don't want to switch, do you? No, I certainly do not. <laughs> All right, you work this with your hands till you get it nice and soft so I can sculpt my cups. That's my hobby. You know, this clay feels kind of weird. What kind is it? Clay. What clay? That's my earwax. <laughs> Do you have any luck finding a new driver for our cart? No, but I know of someone. Great who? You, Jack. You've got the high score at that racing game at Phil's. Spin out. And you've got amazing reflexes. You know what? You're right. It would be fun to wipe that smug smile off Tad's face. He embarrassed Kim. Maybe I'll embarrass him. And I did just get highlights. <laughs> guys, 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 I was searching all over the track and I found two excellent candidates to drive our cart. Uh oh. I want you to help me decide. This is Mike the Missile. <laughs> And this is Tonga! <laughs> Behold, the wasabi cart! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what was I thinking? Now that I see them next to the cart, clearly there is only one man for this job. Mike, take a hike. Tonga, she's all yours, champ. Uh, hang on a second. Team Wasabi already has a driver. Me. And I'm gonna win. I'll thank you to get your big giant freak foot off of my beautiful face. <laughs> Look at me. I'm gorgeous. experience in the video game. But I just made it around that first wall. I think I'd have really taken off. Yeah, right into that second wall. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy, that was nice driving. So, uh, you must be European. <laughs> Jack, it's me, Kim. Jim, hey. I didn't know Jack was European. <laughs> posing as a boy to get into the Junior National 500 and make a point. Guys, Kim's right. People should judge you based on ability, not whether you're a boy or a girl. Which is why I'm trying out those girly curly shampoo commercials. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Kim has no chance in that crummy rental cart. Kim, would you do me the great favor of racing my face? Bobby, I'd be honored. Uh, all right, guys. If we're going to pull this off, Kim, from now on, you're going to have to act like a dude. Jack, trust me, I got this. Team Wasabi? Team Wasabi! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so much fun. I mean, let's do this. Here we go, let's dump the pot and jump it up like it's correct. Oh, I can't believe he's got us cleaning out his refrigerator. It's disgusting in there. I don't know. Looks like you got some pretty interesting eats in here. <laughs> don't leave that refrigerator open. I have a sample of something I need to bring to the doctor. <laughs> and when you finish
finish with that. Throw out this box of junk. Ugh. Whoa. Jerry, check it out. He's got a first edition Captain Kaboom comic book. Who's Captain Kaboom? Only the toughest, baddest superhero there ever was. What's up with this funky utility belt? No, that's his fanny pack. It's where he keeps his super pixie dust that he throws in the villain's faces. After he does it, he just giggles and skips away. Sounds awesome. You know, this comic's probably worth a bunch of money. Well, we should tell Harvey. Hey, Harvey, you know that box? I said throw it out. Yeah, but we found something. I said throw it out, you! <laughs> He's got a Captain Kaboom action figure! Listen, when you pull the string, he says his catchphrase. That's it. You're getting kaboomed. <laughs> your official pit crew, Bobby and I are going to make your cart the best it can be. Come on, Bobby. Let's rotate the tires. The key to a good crew is working together. Now, Milton and I, we are a well-oiled machine. Done. Nice teamwork. No, oh, your team wasabi is your driver, Cam, huh? Yeah, he sure is. It's my boy, Cam. Main man. He's a guy. Well, at least this time you got a dude. Before you, they had some blonde chick. <laughs> what was she going to do? Ask for directions? Oh, you are good. Uh, I'll tell you this about that blonde chick. She was smart and pretty and knew how to keep her cool. Whatever. I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. Well, Kim, you got to relax. You can't let jerks like that get to you. Oh, he did it. I just can't wait to get out there and take his... And I'm going to... Snoopy! Now let's go win this race. I thought it was best you boys didn't hear all that. I can't believe we got a thousand bucks for that comic. I'm going to use my money to buy a jet ski. Oh, I'm going to look so cool pulling up to school on it. I'll just take the rest of Harvey's junk and throw it out. Huh. Look at this. My dog Ernie, the best friend a man ever had. Oh, look at Harvey. He's doing something we've never seen him do. He's smiling. <laughs> well, this must be why he's so miserable. He lost the only friend he ever had. That's so sad. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you? No. Good, then I don't want us to cry. <laughs> Are destroyed. Oh, is that bad? It means the race is over. Oh, did we win? No, it means Kim can't finish the race. What? You're not going to want to hear this. It's not really working out with you and the other genius. I don't like you, and uh, I requested a couple of new volunteers. You poor, lonely old man. Off of me! But we know why you are the way that you are. You haven't had a real friend in a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> Harvey, this is your new friend, Casey. Oh, look at you, boy. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. But what about the dog? I was talking about the dog. Come to pop. Yeah, yeah, you. Jerry, we did a good thing today. Hey, you know the feeling you said I get from volunteering? I'm feeling it right here. No, boy. No, that's my turkey shiver. Why are you looking at me that way? No, boy. Uh, should we go on our help? 
No, we should probably just call someone for help. Good call. Kim, you have no brakes. You can't race. But I have to beat Dad. I'm sorry, but without brakes, you'll just spin out. Wait, that's it. Guys, you know the game I play at Fluffle Fields called Spin Out? Really? You think this is a good time to brag about your high score? No, listen. Sometimes in the game, you lose your brakes, and the only way to make a turn is by doing something called the Daytona Drift. Oh, the Daytona what now? It's a racing move where you slam on the gas and yank the steering wheel away from the turn. Got it. Bobby, she'll be fine. Who cares? She just ran over all my piggies. Turn. Jack, it's just a game. This is never going to work. Will you have a better idea? Start drifting, baby. Oh, give me that. What happens in the game if you can't drift? You slam into the wall and your car explodes. Kim, you got this. Crazy. What were you thinking? Oh. <laughs> yes. That was some of the greatest driving I've ever seen. Congratulations, son. Actually, uh, I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's a girl? That's illegal. You know, someone's removing somebody's brake line. Dad? Who cares about her brakes? She shouldn't have been racing, which means I won. No, you lost. And you cheated. I'm suspending you from racing for a year. Trophy goes to Kim. From now on, you qualify your race, whether you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> the good news is I fixed the cart. I tightened up the brakes, so we'll be ready for the next race. Uh, but, Bobby, you don't know what you're doing. I certainly do! <laughs> Big dinner. <laughs> Wake up, you turkey necks! And rejoice with the turkeys that survived Thanksgiving with a full day of animated movies that will make you gobble for joy. So snap out of that food coma and get in the celebration. Let's do this! Plus, Mickey joins the Hooper with a triple play of the Disney XD premiere of Mickey Mouse cartoons. You made a past Turkey Day Day movie marathon. All part of Thanksgiving. The celebration begins Friday morning at 10, 9 central on Disney XD.